Once upon a time, there was a very beautiful doll's house. It belonged to two dolls called Lucinda and Jane. One morning they went out for a drive in a doll's perambulator. There was no one left in the nursery and all was very quiet. On Tom Thumb, there's no one about. Let's go and see what we can find. There's no one at home. Let's have a look inside. <laughs> Try some of the fish. I'll deal with you, 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 you ham. It's no good. You can't eat it. No, it's not for eating. Let's smash it all up. <gasps> oh, yes. Let's. Tom Thumb was up the chimney, Hunker Munker had another disappointment. to work to do all the mischief they could. Oh, bother. 
Oh, well, leave it. What a sight met the eyes of Jane and Lucinda. Nurse, what has happened? Oh, it must be mice. I shall get a doll dressed as a policeman. I will set a mouse trap. And that should keep them out of the doll's house. The bird cage was rescued from behind the coal box, but Hunker Munker had got the cradle and some of Lucinda's clothes. And those two bad mice were not the only ones causing trouble. <coughs> Quick, Hunker Munker, the kitchen. What is it? There's some more Sarah! Who's that? Call <laughs> Who in the world is this? Uh, I'm Timmy Willy. You're t <laughs> well, you're very welcome, I'm sure. I'm Johnny Townmouse. How do you do? Uh, let me introduce you to, to my friends. Oh, thank you. How do you do? Lovely to see you. Thank you, William. Yes. I suppose in your travels you haven't been in a trap? No. <laughs> what is a, a trap? Well, obviously not. <laughs> Never mind. Splendid piece of Stilton. What? Mmm. <laughs> oh, nice hair. Nice bit of dripping. I'm so sorry. <laughs> never mind, never mind. The plates don't belong to us. They come from the doll's house upstairs. Uh, you're... You're not from around these parts, are you? Well, no. You see, I was born in the country, in a beautiful garden. I, I came here by mistake. <laughs> it was the hamper, the vegetable hamper. I saw it by the gate and I climbed in. It was full of lovely vegetables. <laughs> and then I fell fast asleep. Thank you, my man. And here's sixpence for you. Thank you, man. So much to do, oh, so much to do. Then there was all that awful screaming, and I, I fell in here. <clears throat> and you're most welcome. Uh, now, why did those youngsters come back with our desserts? Ha-ha! <laughs> jelly! Just the thing. What's the joke, you two? Oh, it's that silly cat chasing us. <laughs> <laughs> cat? Cat? Oh, I don't feel very well. Do try some jelly, Timothy William. No? Oh, well then, um, would you rather uh, go to bed? Yes, I would. I will show you a most comfortable sofa pillow. Come along. Good night, Timothy William. Good night, Timothy, Timothy William. Timothy William. Good night. Good night. It is the best bed, and I keep it exclusively for visitors. Have a good night's sleep, and I hope you'll feel better in the morning. Good night, Timmy. Oh, this is a good one. Oh.
us home. Johnny Townmouse and his friends are all very kind, but, but, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It was the same the following nights, until one morning. What is the matter, Timothy William? Are you ill? Every day you seem to be getting a little thinner. Aren't we feeding you well enough? Oh, no. No, it, it, it's just that I'm not feeling so well. And I do so miss my home in the peaceful sunny bank. All this excitement isn't good for me. Oh. Uh, where is your home, Timmy? In my garden with the most beautiful flowers, where I sit and listen to my friends, the birds. Is that all? It sounds like... Uh, well, it sounds rather a dull place. Oh, no, not at all. Even when it rains, I, I sit in my little sandy burrow peeping out of the throttles on the lawn and talk to my friend, Cock Robin. And when the sun comes out, oh, you should see my garden. Oh, there's no noise except for the birds oh, and the bees. Oh, no, here comes that cat again. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> I am a little disappointed. <laughs> we have endeavoured to entertain you, Timothy William. Oh, yes, yes, you've been most kind, but, oh, I do feel so ill. Well, it may be that your teeth and digestion are unaccustomed to our food. Oh. Perhaps it might be wiser for you to return the way you came, in the hamper. Oh? Yeah, to, to, to your own home, in the, uh, uh, country. Oh, why, of course. For that matter, we could have sent you back last week. <laughs> Did you not know the hamper goes back empty on Saturdays? Amanga, Amanga. Oh, thank you. Goodbye, Tom Thumb and, and all of you. Goodbye, I have that hamper. Goodbye, Timothy. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. 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 Goodbye, Timothy William. Goodbye, Johnny Townmouse. Do try and visit me in the country one day, won't you? Hmm? Oh, right, I'm coming! Oh, dear, oh, me, mice. Travels? Huh? Yes, yeah, so yes, I'm so happy to be back here. Here in my own home. <laughs> Timmy Willie settled happily again to his life in the garden. Sometimes on Saturdays he went and looked at the hamper lying by the gate. But he knew better than to get into it again. <laughs> The winter passed, and the sun came out again. Timmy had nearly forgotten his visit to town, when who should appear? Ah! <laughs> Hello, Timothy William! Oh, Johnny! <laughs> what a surprise! I thought I would pay you a return visit. Uh, yes, yes, and, and you've come at the best of times. Oh, we can, we can sit in the sun and have herb pudding. Hmm, uh, it is a little damp. There you are, Johnny. Try some of this. How's Tom Thumb and all our friends, eh? eh? The reason I've come to visit is because the family have gone to the seaside for Easter. And Cook is spring cleaning with special instructions to clear us all out. There are now four kittens. Oh, no. And the cat has killed the canary. Oh, my goodness. They say we did it. Oh. But I know better. As for Tom Thumb, well, he told the small mice all about a trap. Goodness. That the nurse had set for them. And Hunker Munker has become quite good friends with the policeman doll. Mm. Although he never says anything and always looks quite stern. Well, it all sounds very exciting. 
What? What is that fearful noise? <laughs> it's only a cow. They're quite harmless. Unless they happen to lie down on you. Come along, let's get some milk. Milk? It does seem such a long time ago that I went to town. That seems ages, really. It really is a most fearful journey. Oh, it's terrible. What, 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 was the hamper comfortable? Yeah! <laughs> oh, hide! <laughs> What's wrong with your friend, Timmy, will he? Well, <laughs> he's not used to the country yet. <laughs> How's that? Where's he from, then? He's from the town. <laughs> I see. <laughs> oh, well, must be off. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Cock Robin. Come along, Johnny. We haven't got all day. What manner of creature that comes sneaking up on dear. Barely got myself across. Huh? What, whatever is that fearful racket? What? All that? Oh, it's only a lawnmower. Now, if you just wait here, I will go and get the milk. Get some grass clippings. Um, for your bed. This way, Johnny. Hold the milk. I'll be back shortly. Oh, I hope you won't be long. Oh, dear me, my tail is getting all wet. Just look at my jacket. Oh, oh. What could he be up to? Oh, oh I wish he would hurry up. Oh. oh, it's only a spring shower, Johnny. Oh, the milk's getting wet. Here, take this leaf. Hold it over your head. There, like this. <laughs> oh, the rain will brighten up the flowers. Come along, Johnny. Johnny, I'm sure you'd better settle in the country, eh? Don't you think? Huh? Well, we'll see. I can't go back anyway. The hamper is stopped while the family is at the seaside. Oh. <sighs> I'm sure you will never want to live in town again. But he did. He went back in the very next hamper of vegetables. He said it was too quiet. Johnny got back safely to his townhouse and his old friends. And Tom Thumb paid for everything he broke. He found a crooked sixpence under the hearth rug. And on Christmas Eve, he and Hunker Munker stuffed it into one of the stockings of Lucinda and Jane. And very early every morning, before anybody is awake, Hunker Munker comes with her broom and dustpan to sweep the dolly's house. As for Timmy Willie, well, he stayed in the country, and he never went to town again. One place suits one person, another place suits another person. For my part, I prefer to live in the country.